Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Let's go to the process of upgrading our project to the latest uh, Org Framework version, uh, which actually I already did behind the scenes. So let me go to Window, uh, Game is Love, Machinom, and we can see that we are currently using the version 3.13 this is the limited license and uh, if we go to the plugins folder Animancer we are currently using version 7.3 so we are going to update this plugin to 7.4 so this is a personal preference uh, what I like to do is, of course, make a backup of the project before any uh, making any changes in the asset I'm using. And uh, I will switch to an empty scene. And then from the window package manager, you're going to type Animancer Lite if you have it already or Animancer Pro if you bought it. And before importing uh, this new version, what we actually need to do is to delete the Animancer folder from the plugins. So let's do that. Let Unity compile and throw uh, all the errors because we were using the libraries that are no longer in the project. So we can see all the errors here. So don't mind those. those. And click, click on import to import Animancer Lite or Pro in your case. What I look uh, like to do here though is to untick the examples. Uh, remember I, was, I always like to have a clean project what I'm working with and if I want to see or check the examples from this uh, asset I will have another Unity project explicitly with examples to use as a reference. So I will uncheck examples and just import uh, everything else. So click on import. Again, Unity will compile the libraries. And after a couple of minutes, now that we now we have the new version installed, I will check here. Don't show on a startup, and we can close up Package Manager. So let's go to the console and clear all the messages. Switch back to our sandbox scene, and let's click on Play. So we we'll see if we have any issues that we need to solve. And actually, yes, now we have some errors messages displaying here. So we are going to cover that on the next section. So let's stop play mode and let's start debugging. So we have a couple of errors from our uh, response state and the multi state where Animancer is complaining that uh, the state behavior was already disabled before onX state uh, was called. So let's start by opening up our response state script. And we go to our zero dark ARPG folder, then scripts, gameplay, behaviors, characters, state and let's open up respawn state with your editor of choice I'm using Visual Studio 2019 and once the script is open uh, right away we can see that the problem here is that we are not overriding the on exit state and if we go to the parent which is the character state 
and press F12 uh, we can see we are not either here um, calling or overriding the uh, on exit state so to fix this issue we can either uh, if you are sure that you are going to call this on every single state that you have created but in this case we are not so I will just override this in the response state so click um, after our connected state and do a override on exit state and we don't need to call the base because the character state itself is not doing anything so we can just remove this line here and similarly let's open up the uh, multi-state let unity compile the script that we just changed so let's open up multi-state and on enter state update uh, perhaps do it over here so override on exit state and do the same thing for the timing okay so again let's uh, unity compile the script and now if we were to hit on play let's see if the error messages are gone And they are so we have no error messages anymore and let's test it out we still can move around I'm, I'm using the keyboard in this case uh, now we can still backstep we can roll we can sprint so everything work as expected still working as expected okay so the next thing I want to debug is the targeting locomotion once we are locked into the target as you can see here and if I were to try to do the dash and um, while while moving I press the space keyboard you will see that it dashes it dashes forward which is not right afterwards of course it it does it correctly but let's try to fix that that little bug there so let's stop playing and let's open up our uh, dodge state so in this script we were setting our uh, or the, the, the movement direction parameter uh, in the current animation uh, function here that we are calling in the on enter state right to retrieve the current animation and after that we were not doing anything else uh, with that so in order to fix this issue it is as simple as to add an update function so let's uh, do a private void update and in here what we can do is just to copy paste uh, the same statement that we have in the else statement here so if the dash state is not null then we set the parameter of the dash state to the character movement direction the current okay and remember uh, the state machine will uh, enable or disable this script so we, we don't need to worry about uh, performance issues in this case so let's save the script and let's go back to unity let it compile and uh, click on play and of course i will hit the tab key to enter the target or lock on system and now if I were to uh, move to the sides and hit the space bar to dash now it dashes to the right direction and it's also consuming stamina as expected so that's another thing fixed
Okay, so in the next video we are going to start building the um, movement set or weapon based movement set like in Bloodborne for example, so we have uh, the axe and then we can switch to the transformed axe and each of uh, whether we have the, 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 the standard axe equipped or the transformed then the locomotion uh, for the character change a little bit so we are going to build uh, a sort of animancer a movement set asset so we can assign our clips to those uh, movement set asset uh, slots and switch uh, like uh, the standard uh, unity's uh, anim animator override controller works uh, similar to that so we are going to build that uh, but using Animancer. So uh, keep uh, tuned and uh, see you on the next video.